we are in Adobe Animate and um, what the first thing you want to do is go to file new or you can just go to this icon that says create new right here and with this particular project um, just to get started you don't need anything like 4k full HD or even HD we just go with the standard change the frame rate to 12 frames per second which is right here then we're just going to press create and you should have a blank canvas now I've already started working on one um, just to show you a few things so in this video we're going to go over the following things we're going to talk about layers um, the timeline with which uh, we're talking about each frame and we're going to also the main topic is going to be the stroke and the feel now um, if we look down at this timeline you'll see a layer that says text this text layer is where I have the word strokes the words stroke and feel so I could press this lock button that locks the layer that means I can't touch whatever is in that layer so now I can't select those those words if I unlock it now I can select it I can adjust and move it around and all that type of stuff um, now if I wanted to hide it and lock it I can lock it and then press this eyeball right here and now the um, layer is hidden but in some cases I can press this button right here and you'll see um, later on like it changed color but the on, only thing it's doing is showing the wireframes and we'll get into that la later you don't really need to know that um, for this particular well just to get started you don't need you don't need to know that but now in the faces layer where you see these um, basic illustrations you see these two faces now if I um, highlight this area right here you'll see that this is a new frame and in order to add that frame in that's that's how the animation actually starts so when I add that frame in then that'll be my second frame with which in animation terms it would be like the second movement okay but before we even get to that uh, let's look at the stroke and the feel so the main difference is the stroke with the stroke in the feel is that one I can create with uh, the paintbrush and that's going to be my feel and the other I can create with um, some more vector tools um, like the pencil tool for the stroke and notice that the stroke was green because of this palette right here so right here I have a green selected for my stroke palette and I have black selected for my field palette so even when it comes down to selecting colors uh, for the paintbrush versus the pencil tool if you, you need to follow those palettes because the pencil is for stroke and the paintbrush is for fill. Um, now let's talk more a little bit about where where I can get other uh, stroke related uh, items so there's also the line tool where I can create strokes and also the shape tools all of the shape tools uh, can create a stroke and a fill. so if I created this uh, rectangle notice that the fill is there which is now gray let's change that to a different color and then the stroke is there if I wanted to just select the fill I could just grab that and move it and now I have a black fill with no stroke while this one is just a green um, rectangle made only of strokes so what's the big difference between the stroke and the fill well, let me show you so let's delete this stuff all I'm doing to delete this is selecting it with my selection tool and then pressing the, the delete button so now let's say if I didn't like the shape of his head and I wanted to change the shape of his head on this character made from strokes then I could just grab this and adjust his head shape and now we have something with a little bit more character now if I tried to do that with this this character made from fields let's see what happens yikes so this isn't really gonna do the same thing um, 
even down to me changing expression. So if I wanted him to smile and raise the eyebrows up, it would be easier to do that with the stroke. But if I wanted to do that with the fill, um, I would really, I would basically have to redraw it. So for the fill, it's good for um, something called animatics, and I'll get to that where you have to draw each uh, image over again. But stroke is better for those scenes where you don't necessarily need to draw every frame over again, but you can actually uh, just adjust it on the next frame. For instance, let's go to the next keyframe. I'm just going to right click to start you off and um, insert keyframe. So this next frame, I'm just going to move him, his face, his entire face over just slightly. And I'll just select all of these. I'm holding down the shift key as I select them so I can select multiple at the same time. And I just want you to look at the one on the left and notice that he's turning his head slightly. And if I wanted to make that even more convincing on this frame, I would even adjust his head a little bit. So now we have that. So with this one, in order to get that same feel, I would basically need to redraw that entire thing all the way over again. So um, that's pretty much uh, what I want to show you for now. We'll have more uh, content about this in a little bit. So just keep those things in mind as you move forward. And I will talk to you very soon. Have a great day.